is Juliet from Alexar Yoga. Um, we're teaching a Vinyasa 2 class today. This is Darren, he's going to be my demo body model. Um, let's get started, grab your towel, your yoga mat, and um, let's get started on our backs. Come into Shavasana. Your legs are extended out wide. Let yourself take up space on your mat. Let your palms come to a comfortable position. Whether they're face up or face down, that is up to you. Allow your shoulders to roll back and down. And then notice what's happening in the jaw. See if you can allow your jaw to unclench itself. Letting your body slowly melt in towards this earth. Let the earth support your body as you just allow yourself to surrender for the next 60 minutes on your mat. If it feels better to close the eyelids to connect deeper inward, allow yourself to find that. Draw your belly button down towards your spine and notice any shifts you may feel into the belly, your pelvis, or your hips. Take a deep breath in through nose, fill up. Open the mouth and slowly sigh out. Again, just like that, a slow deep breath in through nose. Open the mouth and let it go. Nice. Releasing all that no longer serves you here in this space. Again, just like that to orient the energy in this room. Deep breath in. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Moving on to a breathing exercise. This time, close and seal through the lips. Inhale in through nose, hold breath. Inhale two and nose, hold breath. Inhale three and nose, hold breath. And then slowly let the breath go out of nose. Beautiful, we're gonna do that again three more times. Inhale one and through nose. Inhale two and nose. Inhale three. Exhale out of nose. Let the belly fully complete and deplete. Two more rounds here again. Inhale one. Inhale two. Inhale three. Exhale, let it go out of nose. And last one here, open through the circulatory system in the base of your chest. Inhale one. Inhale two. Inhale three, slowly exhale out of nose. Beautiful. And as you're ready, gently draw your arms up and over the head. Full body stretch as you curl your pinky fingers inwards. Maybe point the toes as you draw your belly down towards the earth, feeling this nice expansion through the back side of your spine. And then as you exhale, hug knees into chest. Let the palms gently hump, land onto the knees. Maybe make some figure eights. Rock and roll side to side. Just allow yourself to feel what's here on your mat within your body. And then when you're ready, please slowly draw the soles of your feet down towards the earth. Walk your heels in close to your glutes, setting up for a bridge pose. Let the fingertips barely graze the back sides of your heels. And then notice what's happening to your pelvis and tailbone. See if you can tuck your tailbone underneath you as you draw your pelvis forward towards the top of your mat. Roll your right shoulder blade down and then your left. Find the engagement through your neck navel to the spine. Take a deep breath in. Exhale all breath out. Inhale, start to draw your knees forward as you slowly start to lift your pelvis or your low back off of the earth. 
And then as you exhale, draw your pelvis up towards the sky. Keep your knees close together about hip width distance apart. Relax through the glute, but squeeze your inner thighs towards one another. Pressing into the heels, maybe lifting higher. Rolling right shoulder blade back and left. Squeezing that navel to spine, can you lift up higher? Holding here, isometric hold, 10. Nine, feel the strength into the glutes. Eight, seven, lift up higher if you can. Six, five, knees forward, four, three, squeeze those inner thighs, two, last one, and slowly lower down upper back, middle back, and low back. One more round as soon as low back touches earth, inhale, draw knees forward, exhale, lift pelvis up. Pressing down, really working through strength and range of motion here, last 10. Nine, knees forward, lift up higher. Eight, seven, six, squeeze belly. Five, four, three, you're doing great. Two, and one, slowly lower upper back. Little back and low back. Hug the knees into the chest and rock and roll side to side to release any sensation that will be stuck within the glutes. And then if they feel good to grab behind your thighs and rock them forward and back, the full length of your spine. Take some time here to just stretch out the spine. And then when you're ready, we'll come into seated. Seated cat and cow, your palms will gently land on the tops of your knees here. As you inhale, draw your chest and collarbone forward. As you roll your shoulder blades back, it may feel good to maybe draw your chin up towards the sky. Let your knees draw downwards. You feel this nice stretch along the back of the spine. As you exhale, cat pose. Start to dome around the spine as your chin comes into chest. Inhale, seated cow. Exhale, seated cat. Round and door. Good. Inhale, seated cow. Exhale, seated cat. Good. Inhale, come back into center. Sukhasana, seated pose. As you exhale, right palm beneath your right shoulder, right alongside of your right hip bone. Let your left hip draw down towards the earth to stabilize. Inhale, left arm up towards the sky. And then imagine that your left elbow is working itself back behind you towards the back side of your mat. Roll your right shoulder blade open to expand through the chest. Draw your navel up and in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, press the mat away with your right palm as you draw your left fingertips over towards the right side. Exhale, draw your left shoulder blade back and open. Navel to spine, lift, reach. Good, and gently, using your strong oblique, slowly come back, both palms up and overhead. Exhale, left palm beneath your left shoulder alongside your left hip. Inhale, right arm reaches up higher to the step. Draw your right elbow back as you expand through the chest. Left shoulder blade back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right arm over to the left side. Continually press the mat away with your left palm so you get this nice stretch on the side of your ribs. Work your left shoulder blade back and down. Breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, draw both palms up and over your head. Exhale, seated forward, fold. Squeeze navel to spine as you hinge from the hips and slowly let your palms land on towards the earth. Let your butt bones press back into space. If it feels better for you, you can always press up onto the fingertips, allowing more space to be hard into the chest as you open your elbows out wide. You may like to keep your forearms down. There's an abundance of possibilities here for you and your body. Really just allowing yourself to connect to what's here and feeling throughout the experience. Inhale, gently draw your palms back up and overhead. Exhale, Samba Sutihi, connect hands into heart center. Take a deep breath into this space. Open the mouth and let it go. Beautiful. Now let's flow. Come back, press your palms into high plank pose. Step your feet back about hip width distance apart. Palms are beneath the shoulders, and then make it nice to just rock forward and rock back, just finding your lines of energy here, feeling what's best here. Press onto the balls of the feet as you draw your heels back into space. Let the sternum drop forward so you're like a long board stretching in opposition here. Continually press the mat away from you. Roll your shoulders back as you squeeze everything into the midline of your body. 
Feeling all the energy travel into the center part. Breathe in, lengthen. And as you exhale, bend your elbows. You slowly lower all the way down onto the belly. Good. Untuck your toes underneath you, tops of feet strong and heavy on towards the earth. If it feels best for you, you can draw your feet about hip width distance apart if your low back is tight. Otherwise, see if you can work your ankle bones close together and heels to touch. Palms will be back behind you. Imagine that your fingertips are right where your chest line is. Roll your shoulders back and you'll feel this nice openness of the chest. Let your pubic bone draw down as you take a deep breath in. Exhale, all breath out of mouth. Inhale, cobra pose, bhujangasana. Little to no weight into the palms, draw your pubic bone down. Tops of feet strong, glutes light. Draw your elbows into your rib cage and really isolate through the upper back. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, stay. And then gently, slowly lower all the way down. Good. Bend your knee and flex your feet. As you flex your feet, imagine your feet are about hip-width distance apart. Imagine them being ripped apart and then pulled together. Let the tops of your thigh bones draw down. Your pubic bone draws down as well. As you exhale, arms fall back behind you. Squeeze your palms in towards one another. Imagine your pinkies are pressing themselves up into the ceiling. Interlace your fingertips back behind you. As you exhale, draw your palms back. Inhale, lift chest. Draw your pubic bone, and you'll feel a really deep stretch through your low back and mid thoracic. Inhale again, take a deep breath and lengthen. As you exhale, can you draw your palms back behind you? Beautiful work. And slowly release. Weight legs down, release bind. Left ear down, gaze left, right ear down. Good. And it may feel good to windshield wiper the legs. Go ahead and draw your gaze back towards center. And then opposite gaze. Good. Inhale, chin back towards center. Palms beneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Two options. Option one, you can press up to tabletop and then down dog. Option two, if you're feeling really strong and want to be challenged, palms beneath the shoulders. Squeeze everything to the midline. And then press up, high plank, down dog. Good. In this downward dog, we normally find movement immediately. See if you can refrain from that and then just experience your stillness exactly where you are here. Allow yourself to listen to the breath and see if we can find some harmony and synchronizing with our energy. Press your palms deeply into the earth. Soft bend into the knees if your hamstrings are tight. Imagine your hips are pressing up high, high, high towards the sky and your heels with gravity drawn down towards the earth. Squeeze your navel to the spine, deep breath in. Exhale. Now start to paddle through the feet and really experience movement as it is because you want to move. Good. Come to stillness whenever you feel content with your movements. Good. Inhale, gaze forward. As you exhale, slowly make yourself come to the top of your mat, however you choose to get there. Feet about hip width distance apart or together if that's better for you and your body. Soft bend into the knees. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips on towards the earth. Thigh bones back. Draw your heart forward, roll shoulders back. Exhale, forward fold. Yes. Press into the feet. Soft lightness into the hands. Deep bend into the knees. And as you inhale, gently rise all the way up to stand. Little to no weight into the fingertips and the head and neck are last to rise. Once you get to the top, shrug your shoulders up towards your ears and roll them down your back. And then do the opposite way, just so it feels so good. Standing Shavasana, standing in attention pose, palms back beside your hips, palms open, ready to receive. And then see if you can tuck your tailbone down by letting your tailbone draw down towards the earth and your pelvis drawing forward. Find your inner thighs squeezing towards one another and really allow yourself to and here, press into the heels, press through all 10 toes, and then think about lifting up through your upper arches, so your quadriceps at night. Inhale, Urgo Stasana, upper suit, arms draw forward and they draw upward. Spiral your pinky fingers inward for this external rotation of the shoulders. And notice what happened to your belly. Did it disengage? If it did, re engage it. Press down into the heels, lengthen as you inhale. Good. As you exhale, back bend. 
we'll open up cactus through the arms. This can be little or big, you'll choose. Inhale back to the Urdhva Sasana upward salute. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge from the hips, soft bend into the knees. Heart forward, hips back, fold towards shins. Inhale, halfway lift, Arda. Exhale, high plank, palms beneath the shoulders, step the feet back. Warming up through the body here, pressing into high plank, find your space, breathe in. As you exhale, bend your elbows halfway down in towards the rib cage. This can always also be done onto the knees here, so know that you can always modify. And then inhale, upward facing dog, untuck the toes. Press the mat away with your palms as you roll your shoulder blades back. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips lift up and back. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. All right, two more rounds of that. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, bend your knees. Then step, jump or float, feet behind wrist. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Urdhva Sasana, upper suit, arms draw forward and up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, Urdhva Sasana, upper salute. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms down, step the feet back. Good. And this point, as we go to their second round, check in with the breath. Inhale. Exhale, lower halfway down, your Chaturanga Dandasana. Good, beautiful there. Inhale, upward facing dog. Always know you can modify that as well. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Deep breath in. Let it go. Good. Last round through. And this time we're going to add on. So just uh, listen here. Inhale, gaze to top of space. Exhale, bend your knees. Make a jump, step, jump, float, top of space. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, listen for change. Uh, or <laughs> chair pose. Draw your pelvis forward, arms up. Sink deep into a low chair. And then notice here what's happening into the pelvis and the low back. Tendencies, if you arch your low back in the space, see if you can actually draw your pelvis forward as you tuck your tailbone underneath you, really using the strength of your pelvis. Good. And then maybe if you can't scrub, you can keep your slightly inward. If your shoulders are a little bit tight today, you can always open both poses or hands at heart center. And then see if you can lengthen instead of leaning down, your heart draws forward and up as with everything in life. Breathe and lengthen. Exhale, airplane arms, fly the arms back, keep your legs still though, palms drawing towards one another, pinkies up, interlace fingertips back behind you for a clasp, draw your thumbs away from your glutes, take a deep breath in, exhale, forward fold with a chest expansion, fold in towards the shins as your palms reach up towards the sky. See if you can try to keep your wrists together, so bend your elbows as much as you need to to keep that there. Uh, gently release your fingertips down towards the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Listen for change here. As you exhale, plant the palms down, step your left foot back. Lower your left knee down. Keep your back left toes tucked. Inhale, low lunge, arms up and over your head. Beautiful. Exhale, palms to hips, and square through the hips. Your right knee is stacked over your right ankle. Right hip back, draws back and your left hip draws forward. Squeeze your inner thighs towards one another. Keep the stability. If your left knee has any sensitivity, you can always fold the back over that. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Spiral pinky fingers inward. Draw navel to spine. Exhale, vertical twist. Left arm, right arm back behind you. Left arm forward. Good. And then make, rather you gaze forward or to the side. Really work on drawing your belly button up and in to gain strength from the abdominals. Inhale, exalted right palm to the back, left thigh, left arm up towards the sky. Beautiful. As you exhale, both palms lower down to frame your right foot. Lift your back, left knee up. Exhale, skandasana over towards your left side. Spin back up to your left heel, right heel spins back. Good. Right knee is bent. See if you can keep your fingertips down towards the earth. Open and draw your pelvis forward. Good. Toes up. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, gently bring your palms down towards the earth. Palms reach the top of the mat. Both all ten toes facing forward. Plant the palms down. Step your right foot back. High plank. 
Exhale to throw in the nuts and the high to low. Halfway down. Inhale, awkward facing dog. Always know you can skip these at any point of time. And exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Next side, deep breath in. Let it go. Inhale, gaze to top of space. Exhale, bend the knees, step, jump, float feet behind wrist. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Urba Sasana, upward salute. Exhale, back bend. Get it off your chest. Inhale, chair pose, Uttatasana. Sink deep. Pelvis forward. Good. Work the knees back. Breathe and lengthen. Exhale, airplane arms, flat the arms back. Draw your palms in towards whether to really work through the back of the lats and the triceps. Interlace fingertips back behind you. Do the opposite thumb grip if you can remember. Draw your thumbs away from you. Breathe in. Exhale, forward fold with the chest expansion. Get the palms up towards the sky. Work on drawing the back shoulder blades together. Exhale, release fingertips down by the sides of the feet. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant the palms down beneath shoulders. Step your right foot back. And Lower your right knee down, keep your back right toes tucked. Inhale, low lunge, arms up and overhead. Exhale, palms on towards the hip, let's square through the hips. Left hip back, right hip forward, squeeze the inner thighs towards one another, left knee stacked onto left knee. Draw through the back of the right ball of the foot to keep you stabilized as well. Inhale, arms back up and overhead. Exhale, vertical twist, left arm back behind you, right arm forward. Work on squeezing your navel to the spine and keeping your hips squared. Beautiful work. Inhale, exalted, left palm, right thighs, right arm reaches up high to the sky. As you exhale, right palm lowers down, followed by the left to frame your front left foot. Inhale, draw and lift your right knee up. Exhale, stand off to the right. So to pivot, draw your right heel down as you pivot and bend into your left knee. Right toes draw up towards the sky and ceiling. And see if you can work your left knee back behind you as you lift up. See if you can draw your pelvis forward as you really open through the right hip flexor here. Take a deep breath in. Let the breath go. Beautiful breath. And very gently start to work your right toes back down towards the earth as you pivot over to face to the front. Ensure that your back right heel is up. Plant your palms down. Squeeze your navel to the spine. Press into the palms. See if you cannot make a sound as you step your left foot back gently to high plank. From high plank here, take a deep breath in. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. I'll meet you in downward facing dog, however you would like to journey there. Beautiful breath. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. Good. Inhale, right leg up high. Good. Work your right toes down. As you work your right toes down, ensure that all five toes are in one line. So you can soften the bend into your left knee as you work your left heel down, feeling that nice stretch on the opposite leg. Beautiful. Press firmly into the palms so you find this length of your spine. Exhale, low lunge. Soften, plant your right foot in between your thumbs. Good. Lots of control here. And then work on spraying the hips. So imagine your right outer hip drawing back and your left outer hip drawing forward. Squeeze your inner thighs together and imagine that you're going to sprint like you would in cow pose, your chest draws forward. Good, notice the lightness into your body. Inhale, low lunge twist, keep your left palm down as your right arm works up towards the sky. Reach your right fingertips up and then really ensure that you're pressing the back of your left heel. See if you can also draw your pelvis lower so you can feel this nice opening through the out of, outside of the glutes. Breathe in. And as you exhale, right palm lowers down. Good. Soften the bend into your left knee. Inhale, crescent lunge, Anjani Asana. As you soften the bend into your back left knee, this will help you align so that your shoulders can stack over your hips. Notice here there's a tendency to use the, um, the arch in the back here, so let your tailbone tuck down as your pelvis draws forward. Press in the back left heel, breathe and lengthen. Exhale, vertical twist, right arm back, left arm forward, squeeze that outside left glute like there's no tomorrow. Maybe this time you challenge your gaze as you gaze past beyond you. Check in with your front right foot, see if the knee is tracking inward, see if you can pull it outward. Inhale, exalted warrior, right palm comes to the left thigh as your left arm reaches up high to the sky. Open your heart, and as you exhale, spin your left heel down, warrior two to your left side. Right knee is bent at 90, beautiful. 
back left heel is sealed. Good. And imagine also as you seal down through your back left pinky toe, lift up through the back left arch. Good. Tuck your tailbone underneath you as you work your pelvis towards your left side of the mat. Also check in with your front knee. Your right knee stack 90 degrees over. Also see if you can see the front two toes. If not, draw your right knee to the pinky side edge of your foot so you feel this openness into the hip. Also bring your palm on towards your hips. Notice what's happening to your left hip. Let your left hip lower down as you draw your hips to spring. You feel deeper opening into that left hip flexor. Awesome. Now your arms come back out to a T like you're shooting laser beams through the fingertips to ignite through the triceps. Inhale, reverse warrior. Right arm high, left foot to the back, left thigh. Instead of reaching all the way back, imagine reaching up and bending deep into your front right knee for this lateral side body stretch. Beautiful. Exhale, come back, warrior two. Strong the legs, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, extend the side angle. Right elbow to the right thigh as your left arm draws up towards the sky and ceiling. Notice here that we're not collapsing into this leg. So imagine that energy is reaching up through this left fingertips as you bend deep into your right knee. Inhale, utita, your left bicep comes over your left ear as your fingertips reach towards the front of your mat. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Take your left arm and sweep it around your face as you draw both toes towards your left side. Fingertips down on towards the earth beneath your shoulders. And then here you have an option to play. You can soften the knees. Let the weight travel forward into the toes. Inhale, halfway lift onto the fingertips. Feel this nice stretch into your hamstrings as your heart draws forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Last one here. Inhale, halfway lift. And then as you exhale, draw your toes towards the outside to the sides of your mat. Heels in. Soft bend into the knees. Inhale, press into the feet and rise. Star pose. As you draw your heels down, squeeze your inner thighs together. Lengthen. Maybe you find a slight back bend here. But as you exhale, gather all that energy that you feel back behind your head. Pivot on both feet as you press and release all that energy. Ensure that your back left heel is up towards the sky so you can really um, keep a stable sacrum. And as you release the palms down, let the energy ground down towards the earth. Here you'll stack your right foot back, high plank. And here you'll look to do exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low. Elbows halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog or any back bend of your choice. And exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Let it go. Other side. Inhale, left leg up and back. All five toes pointing downward. Good. Press deeply and firmly into the palms. And then soften the bend into your right knee. Good. As you work your right heel down. Beautiful. Exhale, low lunge. Left foot softly plants in between your thumbs. Left knee is at 90 degrees over that left ankle. Left outer hip hugs in. Right outer hips hugs forward. Good. Your chest comes forward. Your shoulders drop back. Press into the back right heel. Inhale, go lunge, twisting your right palm beneath your right shoulder. Left arm up towards the sky. Reach up towards the ceiling with your left arm just as you simultaneously press down through your right palm. See if you can also exhale lower down your pelvis so you find this nice deep stretch on the out, outer left glute. Beautiful, lower your left palm down. Inhale, rise, crest and lunge on Janyasa. Soft bend into your right knee, arms up overhead. Left hip back, right hip forward. Bend it deeper into your front right, left knee as you draw your tailbone and tuck it down, pelvis forward. Beautiful. Exhale, vertical twist. Left arm back behind you, right arm forward. Reach and extend as you draw your navel to the spine, keep your hips square. Inhale, exalted, left palm, right thigh, right arm reaches up towards the sky. Good. Exhale, warrior two. As you spin your right heel down, open up, warrior two, left knee bent. Good. Find the space of familiarity in this warrior too. So find your strength here. Maybe you open up and you bend a little bit more. Palms on towards the hips. Notice what's happening to the hips. The tendency is right hip is higher than the left. So draw your right hip down and you'll notice you'll bend deep into your left knee. Think about, imagine the back upper arch lifting up. Fingertips out. Inhale, reverse warrior, left arm high, right into the back, right thigh. Good. Exhale, come back, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward as you keep your legs strong. 
exhale, extend the side angle, left elbow, down to the left thigh, right arm reaches up high to the sky. Draw your belly button up and as you draw your pelvis forward, pressing down at your back right heel as an anchor. Reach up into the ceiling, breathe in. Good, and Utita, your right bicep over your ear, fingertips reach towards the front of your mat. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Draw your right arm over your face, toes in, heels out, palms beneath your shoulders. Let the weight travel forward into your toes so that your hips stack over your ankles. Again, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Last one, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Good. Pivot on the heels, so toes out, heels in. Press into the feet. Inhale, rise to stand, star pose. And draw your heels down as you squeeze your inner thighs towards one another. Maybe you feel a slight back bend here. As you exhale, gather all that energy you feel behind your head. Pivot on both heels, your back heels, you press and release it all away from you. Lower your palms down towards the earth. And then stack your left foot back to meet your right high plank. Exhale, your journey down to downward facing dog, however you like to get there. Good. Inhale, upward facing dog if you like. Roll shoulders back. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful work. That's our flow. Inhale, take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good. Inhale, right leg lifts up and back. And this time as you exhale, bend your right knee, scorpion kick the leg. We're going to draw your right shoulder down so you can square through the shoulders. Soften the bend into your left knee as you draw your left heel down and see if you can work your right leg up. So you feel this opposition and stretching your outer right hip. But as you exhale, gently and softly tap your right knee to the right tricep. Good. Hold, press, three, two, one. Inhale, make that same circle back out and then up to open through that hip and femur joint. Woo. Exhale, low lunge, softly plant your right foot in between your palms. Good work. Inhale, crescent lunge on Johnny. Oh, excuse me. Inhale, <laughs> low lunge twist. Right arm up towards the sky. Reach up, press the left palm down. Lower your pelvis down and feel that nice stretch. Good. As you exhale, lower right palm down. Inhale, crescent lunge, high lunge. Soften the knee into your back left leg. Good. Draw your pelvis forward, lengthen. Exhale, vertical twist, right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale, exalted, right palm, left thigh, left arm up overhead. Exhale, warrior two, right knee bends. Left, left, left heel down. Inhale, reverse, right arm high, left arm to the back, left thigh. Beautiful, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, extended side angle. And this time, if you like, you can always go deeper, add any other variations which feel best to you and your body. Inhale, Utita, you're already there, left bicep over here. Exhale, wide-legged shadow stretch. Toes inward, heels out. Good. Let the weight travel forward into the toes and trust yourself on the second round. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold, let the energy go. Good, last one here, inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, draw your toes out, heels in. Soft bend into the knees, press into the feet, inhale, rise to stand, star pose. Good, gather all that energy. Pivot behind your head, pivot, press, release it. Beautiful, lower palm down. Stack your right foot back, high plank. And we'll meet in downward facing dog, however you like to get there. Woo. All right, last side, and before we add on, you're doing great. Inhale, left leg high. Good. Exhale, scorpion kick the leg. Bend your left knee. Let your left heel hover above your right glute. Let your left shoulder blade draw down so your shoulders are square. Soften the bend to your right knee as you lower your right heel down towards the earth. Press into the palms as you lift your left knee up higher. Breathe in. Exhale, left knee taps your left tricep. Good. Beautiful. Hold it there. Three, two, one. And gently inhale, make that same circle all the way back up. Three legged dog. Woo! Exhale, low lunge. Softly plant your left foot in between your palms. Keep your right palm down as you inhale, low lunge twist. Left arm draws 
up towards the sky and ceiling, reach up, lower pelvis down, exhale, lower left palm down. Inhale, crescent lunge, high lunge, soft bend and back right knee. Good. Exhale, vertical twist, left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale, exalted, left arm to right, the back of right thigh, right arm high, and exhale, warrior two as you dance your way into it. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, come back, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, extended side angle. And know that you can add any variations which feel appropriate to your body. Inhale, utita, right bicep over here. Bend deeper into the knee. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Toes in, heels out, palms knees, shoulders. Halfway lift, inhale. And exhale, forward fold. Good, beautiful breath. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, toes draw outward. Bend into the knees, heels in. Press into the feet and inhale, rise to stand, star pose. Exhale, gather all the energy back behind your head. Pivot on your back right heel as you press and release it all away from you. Lower your right, your palms down. Step your left foot back, high foot. And we'll meet in down dog, however you'd like to get there. Uh, take a moment here and take three breaths in downward facing dog and notice any shifts that you may have felt that are occurring in your body from the first downward facing dog that we've held. You may feel energy traveling everywhere through body, but you'll notice that the body may be stiller or more grounded. Breathe into the space and breathe out. Uh, lower down into the knees. Child's pose. Knees as wide as your mat, big toes touch behind you. Lengthen and draw your arm bones forward in front of you. And if you have a tight low back, it may feel good to draw your elbows out wider towards the width of your mat. Maybe your um, index fingers come together and your thumbs come together, making a triangle on the front of your head. Letting your butt bones draw back and giving yourself time to connect back into the space allowing our mind to be even stiller and more focused and grounded for a strength series. If you have your elbows out as wide as your mat, you can always keep them there if it feels best to you. And if you like to, you can come back into your forearms parallel. And then as you exhale, walk both palms over towards the right hand side. Let your left hip bone draw down towards your left heel so you feel this nice opening into your lateral left side. Let your left shoulder blade draw down. Maybe your chin tucks into chest. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale. And gently walk your palms back towards center. And when you're ready, palms over towards the left side. This time, let your right hip sink down towards your right heel. Let your right shoulder blade draw down. Take a deep breath in, press your palms deeply towards the earth. And as you exhale, surrender your chest closer towards the mat. And gently inhale, gaze up. Exhale, palms back towards center. Good. And then gently shift forward, coming into our bellies for Sphinx Pose. As you come into Sphinx Pose, shoulders stacked over your elbows. Notice that your elbows are more forward towards your chest versus your rib cage. So imagine that right underneath your nipple line. Let your legs be parallel, ankle bones together to touch. If you have a tight low back, you can always keep your feet about hip width distance apart. Keep the tops of your feet heavy. Pubic bone down, thigh bones down, roll shoulders back. Imagine your elbows are pressing down as your chest draws forward towards the top of your back. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, draw your chin in towards your chest. You're going to feel deep openness and stretch into your mid thoracic and lower lumbar here. Really breathe into the vertebrae of the space. Also, in terms of energy, this is essentially where our root chakra is. So any bits of uncertainty or ungroundedness here can manifest into our low back. So just allowing it to give space and feeling what's here. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Another one, just like that. Deep breath in. Open the mouth and release it. Excellent work. When you're ready, 
Gently draw your forehead down, elbows out towards the side. And when you're ready, forehead up. Palms beneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Press back to the top and down dog. And let's finish this up. All right, adding on. So this last one will add on to what we had. Familiar with the unknown. Inhale, right leg up. Good. Exhale, right knee to right tricep. Good. Draw it over to the left tricep. Right, left, center, hold three, two, one, low lunge. Step your right foot in between palms. So good. Inhale, low lunge, twist. Left palm down, right arm up towards the sky. Listen for the change here. As you press down into your right foot, reach your right fingertips up. Get light on your left fingertips, almost like you're, there's no weight there. Squeeze the navel to the spine as you exhale. Lift all the way up to vertical twist. Yes, breathe in. Exhale, soften. Good. Inhale, exalted right palm, left thigh, left arm up, expand, open heart. Exhale, warrior two, spin your back left heel down, dance your way through. Inhale, reverse, right arm high, left arm back, left thigh. Exhale, come back, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, extended side angle. Good. Inhale, Utita. Exhale, wide legged. Straddle stretch. Five, four, four. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Draw your toes out, heels in, bend the knees. Press into the feet, inhale, rise, star pose. Exhale, gather all that energy, pivot on the back left heel as you press and release it all away from you. Stay here as we maintain balance. Draw your pelvis forward. Soften the bend into your left knee. Good. So almost like a double bent knee lunge here. Creating more stability, but turning on muscles to create strength here. In this space, as you inhale, draw your palms back behind you. Let the chest come forward. Squeeze your palms in towards one another. Start to get light off of your left toes, but keep both knees bent. Using the strength of your abdominals, Start to slowly press into the foot. Keep both knees bent and then gently start to straighten the legs. Warrior three. Inhale, maybe draw your arms forward or at heart center. And then as you exhale, one leg at Tadasana, draw your left knee into chest, maybe hands to heart. Good work. Heel, kick and extend your left leg out. Bring your palms on towards the hips. Imagine that you're just tucking your tailbone as you stand up straight, you're pressing your right heel down. Draw and kick the front of your space with your left heel. Hold three, two, one. Good, exhale, bend back, left knee back into chest. Right arm maybe outside of your left knee. Maybe your left arm draws back behind you. Finding this nice twist. Good, take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Maybe if you like to challenge yourself, you'll walk your fingertips down towards the outside of your left foot. Maybe you start to slowly kick it out. Whether it's still bent or kicked out, just give yourself an opportunity to experience what's here. Breathe and lengthen. And then as you exhale, gently come back. One legged Tadasana. Exhale, gently look. Fly your left leg back, palms down on towards the earth. Let your left toes tap down. The moment we've all been waiting for, gently walk your right toes behind your left wrist as you lower your right knee down. Half pigeon, let your left knee lower down. Know if you have any um, knee injuries or knee sensitivity, if this does not feel good, come on your back. And we can do a figure four. So if you're a pigeon here, you can always leave the toes tucked underneath you. Draw your right hip back and up as your left hip draws forward and down. So you can draw your pelvis forward and then open through the heart and chest. Breathe in. As you exhale, sleeping pigeon. Crawl fingertips forward. And let your forehead rest on either your palms, your forearms, your fists, or the earth beneath you. 
And if you have with any knee sensitivity, you can come on towards your backs and take a figure four where your right foot is on top of your left thigh here. Know that there's so many possibilities to access these muscles and we're just being okay and willing to experience it. And in this space, see if you can just offer up a space of surrender and of connection, even when there's moments which can be uncomfortable, but the more that we allow and the more that we become present, we'll notice that and all, everything will be okay if we slow the breath down and connect. When you're ready, gently start to lift your head and forehead up. Let your palms gently come back beneath your shoulders. And let's open and stretch through the outside of that right or out glute. Draw your palms towards your right side. Let your left elbow draw down. Inhale, you'll press your palms in towards the earth. And as you exhale, you'll bend and you draw your chest forward towards your right fingertips. And you'll feel this nice deep stretch on the outside of your right glute. Inhale again, lengthen, lift up. Exhale, pull, press down and pull your heart forward. Good, last one, inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Gently walk your palms back towards center. Tuck your back left toes as they became untucked. Press into the palms and inhale, lift your right leg up and back. You can shake it out, kick it out. If you like to flip your dog, you can gently Look underneath your left armpit, find your right toes, spin your left heel, let your right toes lower down, and then lengthen and lift. Expression of heart. And when you're ready, gently come back into down dog. Notice the difference between your right leg and your left leg. When you're ready, inhale, left leg lifts up and back. Exhale, swerve and kick the knee. Let your left heel hover above the right glute. Exhale, left knee taps. Left tricep, good. Over the right tricep, left, right, center. Hold three, two, one, low lunge. Beautiful work. Inhale, low lunge twist. Left arm goes up towards the sky and ceiling. Get light on your right fingertips, almost like if you're um, not even on there. Start to draw weight into, you, into the left foot. Squeeze navel to the spine. And gently start to slowly lift off into vertical twist. Using your strong abdominals. Yes! Always okay to uh, bend your back right knee. Inhale. Exalted left palm, right thigh, left right arm up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, come back, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward, and exhale, extend inside angle, your variation. Inhale, utita, bicep by ear. Exhale, sweep your arm down in front of you. Wide-legged straddle stretch. Toes in, heels out, weight into toes. Halfway lift, inhale, feel this nice expansion of the back of your thighs. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, toes out, heels in, bend into the knees. Press into the feet, rise to stand, star pose. Exhale, gather all the energy back behind your head, pivot on the back right here as you press and release it all away from you. And in this moment, connect to this space as you find some stability here. Maybe work on drawing your right knee to bend, to soften here, creating um, shoulders over your hips, squeeze the navel to the spine. And then draw your palms back behind you as you press through the back right heel, letting your chest draw forward. And work the palms behind your, uh, your glutes, squeeze up. Good. And as you inhale, start to get light off your right toes, press into your left foot. Warrior three. Keep your both knees bent if you can, and then slowly start to straighten. Chest forward. Let your right hip draw down as you point your right toes back. Good. And then gently draw your right knee into your chest as you come up one leg into Dasana. Exhale, left palm outside of your right knee. Maybe you work your right palm back behind you as you create stability here through the hips. 
but if you like to challenge yourself, you're more than welcome, you can stay here, or so to reach your right fingertips, or your left fingertips towards the outside of your right foot. Whether your knee is bent or straight, maybe you start to slowly kick your right foot forward for revolve, big toe pose, fingertips back, breathe in, and then exhale, gently come back, one-legged Tadasana, and exhale, gently fly your right leg back as you plant your palms down, and then softly land your right toes. Heel toe your left foot behind your right wrist, left knee lowers down behind your left wrist, lower right knee down. So to walk your right leg out to straighten for a pigeon pose, or if you're on your back for figure four, your left foot will be on your right thigh. Draw your left hip back, right hip forward, breathe in, and exhale, sleep your pigeon. Allow yourself to send the breath into that outer left hip, connecting back, balancing strength with softness. Work with ease. Soften the muscles in your face, in your jaw, in your elbows, your fingertips. Two more breaths here. And last breath, inhale, breathe in. Exhale out your pace. And gently start to walk your palms back beneath your shoulders as you lift your head and forehead up. Tuck your toes underneath you. Press into your palms and inhale. Lift your left leg up and back for three-legged dog. Shake it out, kick it out, whatever helps you release that sensation. And if you flip your dog on the other side, maybe look underneath your right armpit as you find your left toes. Finding the floor behind you, draw your right heel down and then lift you up. And when you're ready, gently come back into downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, lower down on towards your knees. Hero's pose. Draw your ankle bones together as you sink your hips down on towards your heels. Let your palms gently land on towards your thighs. If it feels okay to you, maybe allow the eyelids to softly close. Roll your shoulder blades back, and then draw your navel to the spine. And invite all the energy that you may I felt shifted around you and just acknowledge what's here. And when you're ready, gently lift the eyes to open. Plant your palms down. Swivel your hips over towards your left side and draw your legs out behind you as you draw your legs out in front of you. Seated forward fold. Move the goodness out from beneath you, letting yourself come fully onto your sit bones. Your legs are out long as you drive your heels down towards the earth. Flex your toes towards your shin. And draw your navel to the spine. Ensure that your shoulders are stacked over your hips. Also know you bend your knees as much as you need to so that your hamstrings can Inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale, forward fold, hinge from the hips. Draw your heart forward and then grab for the outside of your feet. Bend your knees as much as you need to so that you can create this connection. As you inhale, draw your butt bones back and then lift up and out of your hips as you draw your heart forward. Exhale, fold. Good. Again, just like that, inhale, lift up and out of your bones and your spine. And exhale, forward fold. So this time, maybe you draw your forehead down towards your knees or you draw your chin forward towards the big toes. Roll your shoulders back and just allow yourself to fully surrender here.
inhale, gently draw your gaze towards your big toes if they aren't there ready. And as you exhale, release the gripping around the outsides of your feet as you slide your fingertips up along your shin, drawing vertebrae upon vertebrae all the way back up to seated. Excellent. Bring your right foot on top, your right knee on top of your left foot. And you'll just let the outside, the pinky side edge of your right foot just chill on the side there. And always know you can move the goodness out from beneath you. Let your left heel drive in towards the earth as you flex your left toes towards your shin. Inhale, arms up and over your head. And as you exhale, hinge from the hips. And then grab for whatever's accessible. Now that may be the calf. If you have the calf, please grab underneath your calf. If you have the ankle, you grab um, around the ankle or the outsides of your feet. Inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, let your chin draw towards the big toe. You know if you are really flexible and you'd like a little bit more, you can work your elbows in towards your knees so you can feel a nice stretch in the outside of the feet as well as the hamstring. And then just let your chin rest down. Release the gripping around your feet as you slide your tips all the way back up. And then draw your right sole of foot outside of that left knee. Hug your left um, shin in towards your chest so you sit upright, so shoulders stacked over hips. And then let your right palm and form be an extension of your spine. Inhale, left arm up and high over the sky. Exhale, twist left elbow outside of your right knee. Inhale, sit up taller. Exhale, twist as you twist and rinse, and maybe turn your gaze back behind you, releasing any bit of energy, pent up energy that's no longer serving you, like a towel wringing all the sweat out. Inhale, gently draw your gaze back towards center, and then release your right leg out long. You may need to shake it out, releasing any um, energy from your hip flexors. And then we'll go to the other side. This time your left leg will take your left leg and place it on top of your right thigh. <clears throat> Let the pinky side edge of your left foot just hang out and chill there. Right heels down, driving towards the earth as your right toes are flexed towards your shin. Inhale, arms up and overhead. And as you exhale, squeezing the spine, hinge from the hips and grab for whatever is accessible. Now that may be the, out, the underneath the calves, that may be around the ankles or the feet. Wherever you have, place your palms there. Halfway lift, inhale and exhale. Fold forward. Inhale, gently draw your gaze back towards your toes and then slide your fingertips along your shin, let your left sole of the foot come outside of your right knee, left palm becomes an extension and form of your spine, inhale right arm high, exhale right elbow outside of left knee, inhale sit up tall, exhale draw your right elbow into the left knee, twisting the same spine, and then gently draw your gaze back towards center, Release your arms down by the sides, and then gently come all the way down on towards your back. Hug your knees into your chest, and really just let yourself feel and experience your body as it is. Let your knees come together, and as you rock and roll side to side, the next time that your knees come over to the right, just let your knee, both knees come over to the right side. You may have to draw your hips back so that your left hip stacks on top of your right. Palms can be open into a T or goal post. Try your best to keep your left shoulder blade grounded down on towards the ear. Inhale, gently draw your knees back towards center if it's not there ready. Squeeze the needle to spine and gently draw your knees back towards center. And then you can rock and roll side to side. Whenever you're ready, and then that send the knees go to the left, let the knees land onto the left, draw your hips back to the right, and supine, easy supine twist. 
Let your right shoulder blade draw down and heavy. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Gaze back to center, knees back towards center. Hug your knees in towards your chest. You grab yourself like you would squeeze yourself like you're giving someone a really tight, loving hug. Give that to yourself right here, right now. Draw your knee, your forehead towards your knees. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, final Shavasana. Let your legs draw out long out in front of you. Taking up space on your mat here. And let your palms land wherever comfortable. Palms can always be on body, faced up or down by your hips, or up and over your head. <laughs> Maybe you take a couple wiggles, a couple deep audible exhales out, releasing any heat. Unclench your jaw. Let your Tongue move away from the roof of your mouth. Allow the eyelids to slowly close. As you come into the space of your sweet surrender, please thank yourself for fighting for you today because you matter. Take a deep breath in. as you are, invite a gentle breath in through the nose, and an audible breath out through the mouth. Again, just like that, a deep breath in, and a deep, grateful breath out. Let your body feel the support of the earth beneath you. Let your skin feel the texture of all that is around you. And just notice what's here. What do you feel? What did you receive? Know that you are blessed beyond measures to be in this body of yours, healthy, Always 
Remember to radiate from the divinity within that resides in the essence of our being and soul. For when you're in this place in you, and I'm in this place in me, we are one. From my heart to yours, namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Make sure you drink water, and I'll see you soon. Bye.